All right. What up, HyperChange? Welcome to the first HyperChange Arkimoto collab live stream. We got Mark Frommeyer on the line here. Mark, what is up? What, what up, up Hyper Change? Good, Good to, to see you, you Gally. Yeah, great to see you. So um, we're live. I hope you all can hear us. Um, we are here to talk about the Arkimoto Roadster. I'm going to pull up a picture here. Um, this is the potentially newest Arkimoto product. Um, I think it's kind of got a special place in my heart because when I was touring the Arkimoto facility just a month ago, I saw this like kind of dusted thing like like sitting in the back kind of. Um, and I know you had mentioned a potentially Roadster type sort of convertible Arkimoto product in the past. And so I was like, Mark, like, what is that thing? Like, you should dust that off and like do something with it. It looks dope. And then a month later, you came and actually like have put out this, uh, you put out a vote video where you had the Arkimoto Roadster and was kind of like teasing it. Um, and now you've actually put out a YouTube video yesterday. So it's kind of like bubbling up as, as maybe this is the new Arkimoto product, but I love what you're scheming on here. Um, so maybe you could just fill us all in on, on you know, what's been going on here. Um, is this really a new Arkimoto product? Well, well, it's, it's a, you know, know every, every, every product, product that we've ever done has started, started with a prototype. prototype. You know, we, 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 Arkimoto from, from the very beginning has built prototypes and sort of put them, put them in front of the world, world and said, hey, what do you think about this? this? And we've, we've, we've adjusted, adjusted our course based on the feedback that we get from the market and from our own experience with the vehicles. And the Roadster prototype is no different. You know, we... I, we, we'd, for, for a long, long time, members, members of the team have been sort of saying, well, what would it be like, like to have really just a pure platform vehicle? vehicle. You know, you know, the, the Arkimoto platform, platform with, with the minimal, minimal amount, amount of stuff on it necessary, necessary to make it a vehicle. vehicle. What, what, would what would that drive like? like? What, what would that be like? What would it look like? And we just had our hands full over the course of the spring and summer. Uh, getting, getting, getting getting production geared, geared back up, up getting, getting ready for uh, the, the, the mass production, production step. And so we've had, had this prototype kind of cooking, but it has been uh, definitely on the back burner. burner. Um, but, but, but it was actually you uh, kind of going like, whoa, what is, what is that, that thing? thing? Maybe you think, you know, let's, 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 let's get, get it through quality and compliance check and see what it's like on the road, right? I mean, and that was, I think, what probably... Um, blew, blew me away the most was, was just how I, I was. I ended up being surprised myself at just, just how incredibly fun it is to drive the, the Roadster prototype. prototype. Yeah, um, I can't it, it, wait it, it, to drive one. And I'm curious if we could like dive into that because I know the kind of first principles of it without the cage. It's lighter. It's the the center of gravity is lower to the ground. Like even without changing the specs of that technology, which is to me the fascinating part you're still getting a crazy different uh, kind of driving experience. Yeah, yeah I, I think there, there, there are two elements. Yeah, so, so one, the, the, the Arkmoto platform, platform has been designed from the beginning to have a nice, really nice low and forward center, center of gravity. gravity. Um, it's, it's really, it's a, 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 a we, took, we took many iterations to come to the right, uh, the right architecture that supports having the upper frame and supports having a delivery module on the back and so on. Uh, um, but when, when, you when you take, take that, that away, it, it, it pushes, pushes the mass, you know, you know, again, again, further forward and down. Um, and it, it uh, uh, you, know you know what? I actually think, think that, that, that uh, Ray, Ray might, might be here to, to pick, pick it up. It's, it's, the, the, the roaster is going on a, 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 no a, way. a secret trip. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll be I'll yeah, right back. BRB, I'll fill in the time. Don't worry about it. Show them some, 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 some pretty pictures or something like that. I'll be, I'll yeah, be right back. I will. And so, I, well, I can I can fill you in here on... Uh, whoops. What's up, everybody? Um, so actually, I'm going to turn on the chat so we can see the chat. If you have questions, um, that would be awesome. Are echoing? Um, okay, well, hopefully the, the sound echoes away. Um, Oh, mute my mic. Okay. All okay. right. All right. So um, pe people are saying there's an echo. So I, I tried to figure that out. Hopefully we're good. But um, I, what excites me from the business angle of this, Mark, is the 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 same platform and also potentially like it's going to be easier to build this, simpler, simpler to build this, um, and potentially more wiggle room in terms of like, do you want to use margin or do you want to lower the price or, um, you know, it's, it's just kind of a lot of wiggle room there. Echo. Hey, Galileo. Yep. I, I can you hear me? Yep. Because I'm your audio is coming through like just barely.
it did, it did, did that, that little cutout cut thing, thing again. again. Okay, are we good? Oh, oh, oh. All right, yeah, maybe okay. just mute if you're not speaking, and then that'll be fine. Got it. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. And so what do you think about the the um, the production simplicity of the... <laughs> We're doing it live, bro. But the, um, the production <laughs> simplicity of the Roadster. Like, I'm really curious uh, if you could walk us through, like, is it easier to be able to build one of these easily? Um, it, you know, because it's like you have 4,000 pre-orders for your, for your normal car. So I was always kind of curious of like, are we going to be able to start, if, if I'm an Arkimoto customer in like Florida and I really wanted this product, um, would I be able to order it and, and kind of like integrate this in the production line, so to speak? Because that's where it gets yeah, me yeah. so excited of like, man, like I think this is a new a new sort of sweet spot for a lot of customers. So, 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 so it, it is, is yeah, yeah, there, there are, are a couple, couple of questions, questions in there. In there. You know, one, one a pre an Arkimoto pre-order applies to any of our products. So we've had customers that, that pre-ordered and then said, okay, actually, I really want a deliverator. And so we built a deliverator, deliverator instead of an FUV. Um, the same thing is true of a, hypo a hypothetical Roadster product is that if, and, and again, we're, you know, right now we're really open only for sales in Oregon, Washington, and California, but we just announced our collaboration with DHL that is going to let us more rapidly open up uh, other states in the country. And we have a, you know, we have, to your point, we have a, a bunch of pre-orders in Florida. Um, and we see that as a, a very viable market for Arkimoto products. Uh, and so, you know, I, I think the Roadster is going to, to be a, a fine product. And actually you can, you can see it making its way out of the driveway now. It's getting loaded on the truck, dude. This is epic timing, yeah. and I even I, I, I hate to see it get taken away, but um, it's for it's for a good cause. That's and we fixed our technical difficulties, so I'm pumped. Um, so Mark, can can yeah, you I, fill I'm, us in? I'm still Gal. You're uh, you. Yeah. yeah, getting there. It's funny because when you your audio sucks for you, everyone else is perfect. That's why I'm sacrificing you, Mark. Uh, um, uh, fair, fair. But um. I'll, I'll just practice lip reading that'll work <laughs> um but yeah so um i'm really curious if you could talk to us give us a teaser about the the specs here because even this is what i was fascinated by is the and I, i've been trying to make this point but not articulately is like you can build this thing on the same platform um like literally same battery same architecture so so many of those economies of scale are there so from like a business strategy like a, my investor hat is like wow this is going to be really dope um, but I'm also thinking that the, the specs are going to be better. Like the Arkimoto's range of 100 miles is awesome. Um, the speed, it can go 75 miles an hour. It's super quick already. It's just so fun and dope to drive. So I have to imagine that you take away this, like the specs potentially get better too. So even without changing the battery technology. So, so it gets lighter. And uh, we just waited. It's the, the prototype is 1180 pounds. Uh, I think that we there's there's more that we can take away um, that will make it lighter still, but you get you get two things. One is you know again center of gravity goes down, weight goes down, so it's it's lighter, it's quicker, it's even more nimble than the FUV, which is which is saying something. Um, and you're on it, you, I, like you ride you ride it like a like like you're really in you can go into a, a real crouch position on it and bring your own weight sort of a little bit more forward and down. Um, and then in that tuck position, it's got uh, better aerodynamics. So we think that the combination of all of those things would lead to uh, even you know, using the very same basic underlying platform, which to your point is, you know, would be hypothetically made on the very same production line, um, that that would still be a higher performance, uh, you know, just pure fun machine. One thing I thought was was uh, really interesting is this actually already has a, a existing market, or that's something you've mentioned, where it's like, unlike a lot of Arkimoto 
um, products where you're like inventing this new market from scratch and trying to do this sales process. Like this is like that $20,000 sort of like fun machine um, where it's kind of like this three wheeler. It's got kind of an off-roading edge. Um, like these are kind of things that already exist and already is a market for tens of thousands, a couple dozen thousand units a year, which is enough to be a really good business on its own. So from my perspective, it's, it's interesting to see how bold you were to target new markets at first. And now this new product to me is a sweet spot of like, you either have more margin, you have better specs and it's an existing product. So this could even be maybe one of your most pot, like if this is, you know, to me almost could be just as popular as the deliberator rapid responder or the main FUV eventually. Yeah. Yeah. It- it gives us our very first, to, uh, to that point, our very first thing that goes into a very well understood market, which is the toy fun machine. And that's everything from you know a side-by-side ATV to a, a souped up motorcycle to a sports car. It's, and, and what we've seen, um, and, and if you, I, I had a chance to read uh, Polaris's cue um, just uh, uh, a few days ago, and you know, motorcycle sales are up, slingshot sales are up. It's like in we're in the middle of a pandemic. People are looking for something fun, and so that that market is is uh, is is really going off. Um, so I think that you know that to me just says there there might be a real opportunity here. And I've I've certainly been very heartened by the uh, by the early feedback that we've received. And again, I mean, we build prototypes, we put them out on the road and see what does the market say about it. But the, the early response to our teaser is incredibly positive. Something I feel like to start might be like, I kind of, I keep saying convertible, but I, I, I feel like eventually this is like, will be the premium uh, Arkimoto product to start maybe, or like you could charge even higher than that mid 20%. 20k range like you're saying and which is the price point you're already at with less parts so i'm reading higher margin which kind of gets me excited or more like like i feel like it was it's, it's an easier production ramp it was kind of like this aha moment for arkimoto which yeah. it is really exciting I, I, advantages one is that while we're still producing at low volume it is has the potential to be a much higher margin thing uh and and so drive uh profitability sooner and then what we're really aiming for is mass production and so this gives us another market slice to go after that adds up to that 50,000 plus per year range. So then you start to see, okay, fun utility vehicle, rapid responder, uh, deliverator, a potential roadster, a cameo, a flatbed. Now, now you start to go, okay, well, I, there, there are, that, that's starting to hit more and more and more pieces of the overall vehicle market, which is the whole thesis of the platform. Oh, what? And it's so to me, it's so interesting how it seems like it would be a complexity of the vehicle lineup, but it's actually in some ways like this help to get to that that number of mass production and mass scale, which I think is awesome. Um, did well, you have and, something? And, and, yeah, yeah the, the production, I mean, every vehicle that we build, it's got the same platform. And then there there may be a fork in the road where a, you know, a, a platform rolls onto a FUV line or onto a deliverator line or onto a roadster line or onto a rapid responder line. But those are all, you know, at the at, sort of at the end of the process, the, the bulk of the assembly is done at that point. So I guess I have a question of like, if, if this first Arkimoto battery pack that we saw was like the pouch cells, which is actually, it's going to be in the document, Arkimoto documentary, which is so epic that's coming out. But I'm curious, like, if you could give us a hint of like, how, you know, they say battery lithium ion technology gets better at like 7% a year. So is that something in the back of your head too, of you always are ready to take on new batteries to implement on that, you know, that core skateboard platform as these, cause I assume, you know, Tesla is pushing the whole industry forward. All the suppliers are building batteries. Like these batteries are getting cheaper and better. And at some point you have set up the product that is the perfect beneficiary of all these battery tech advances. Well, so we're not a, we don't manufacture cells. Uh, that's an, an enormously capital intensive undertaking. And a lot of really smart people are working on cracking that problem as, as was evidenced so clearly on battery day. Um, what we do is we integrate cells into packs and put them into a very efficient platform. Uh, and so, you, you know, you can, that, that battery bay is, is a pretty oversized battery bay for the size of platform that we're building. Uh, and it could accommodate, 
you know, we, we, we right now we have a really awesome cell in there. It's a, a, a great uh, power and energy density cell um, that that we have our own technology for packing. Uh, but we are, I mean, ultimately, Arkimoto is sort of cell and chemistry agnostic. And we can see different, both different cell formats and different cell chemistries. I mean, you think about the the what what Tesla was talking about in terms of a lithium iron phosphate low cost cell that that cost thesis fits really well into sort of an entry very entry level um, least cost Arkimoto platform. Uh, whereas uh, if you want to get you know maximize range, uh, maximize performance, then you could end up just filling that same volume with a different chemistry. Uh, and this is so, so exciting, Mark. Thank you so much for taking the time to like fill us in on it. And I'm curious if people, you know, I want all the hyper changers to give us feedback and that's why we, you know, having the honor of having you on the show to like kind of scheme on it and get the hyper changers feedback. I hope our technical difficulties weren't too much, but, um, and, and kind of see what people think. But I'm curious, you know, I think this is a no brainer. I think if you can build it, people are gonna want it like, yes, like let's let's like confirm this, you know, press the green button on it. So if that were to happen, if Arkimoto, like how are we gonna stay tuned? You know, you're, you guys have an earnings release coming up. Um, can we expect to hear more about this program in, in the near future? Uh, I expect it to be a topic that p folks bring up on our earnings call on Monday. Um, and you know, they, so, so, and again, the, the feedback that you're giving me, the feedback that we're getting online, I think all of that is is really, helpful both for me and for the team to say, okay, what, you know, uh, how do we, how do we slot this idea into Arkimoto's future? And then also just our own, you know, direct experience of the ride on the road has been really instrumental as well. Well, I cannot wait to get in one of the roadsters myself. Thanks again so much, Mark. Have an epic day. Really appreciate you hopping on the live stream. Um, and yeah, we'll have an even better live stream next time. Perfect. Hey, hey, thanks, thanks a lot. Like Peace. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will get better at these live streams. I appreciate the feedback. You all are awesome for helping me with that. Thank you. Peace. Have a great day.